It's the scaredy butt nursery rhyme review. Really, it is. Mm. Oh, hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, I will be reviewing a most chilling book. Oh, the terrifying tale of Old Mother Hubbard. Oh, oh, oh dear. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor doggy a bone. Oh, well, perhaps this story is not so bad after all. Hmm? <laughs> when she got there, the cupboard was bare. Bare? <gasps> oh, dear me! What happened to all the dishes and cutlery and cups? All of the canned goods are gone! Gone, I tell you! They vanished! Vanished! Is it a ghost? It is! It's a ghost! Get out, Miss Hubbard! I tell you, your house is haunted! Get out! <gasps> well, I apologize. I simply cannot read any further. My nerves! <laughs> well, in conclusion, I deem this book... too frightening to finish. I give Old Mother Hubbard two eyes shut. Shut! So, tune in next time when I will read from the hair-raising story this little piggy. Hmm. were part of my science project. Oh, I'm sorry, Ruby. This is my project, the Garden of Feeding. <laughs> I'm still working out the kinks. That's okay. Looks like my steam-powered breakfast maker has a few kinks to work out, too. Venus, <laughs> get back here. Good luck. Quite something, isn't it? It sure is. Ah, to win the Golden Beaker Award for scientific excellence. Competition is always so stiff. I hope my project does okay. You started your project already? Yeah. It's nothing that fancy. Doom cake? Thanks. Maybe later. I've got to focus. I need a really good idea. Something original and cool. I'm sure you'll come up with something great. After all, you're the idea guy around here, Skullboy. I am? Yep. I'm sure you'll knock him dead. Well, I've got to run, but good luck. <coughs> For later. Hmm. Oh, hi, Misery. I think I have an idea for the science fair. Meteorology, the study of climate and weather. Sounds like a pretty good idea, 
but... Watch this! Lightning from that cloud is going to hit this key. See? The key is made of metal, so it attracts the lightning. Sorry, Skullboy. But you know lightning's my thing. Not by choice, of course. <sighs> I'll just add these atmospheric samples to my weather project. Now, where can I find some rain? Well, bye. That's going to be a tough one to beat. Of course. Botany. The study of plants. No eating flowers. <sighs> yes, that's it. Acoustics. The science of sound, wavelengths, frequencies. to ask how you got your idea for the science fair. Lion's hair. It's called a mane. No, science fair. Giant declare? No, thanks. We just had lunch. Never mind. Three o'clock. Nice of him to visit. Yeah, thanks, but I prefer to stand. Hey, Skullboy. How's your project coming along? Huh? Oh, yeah. It's great. I... I have a very great idea. Really? See, I knew you would. What did you come up with? A great idea. I came up with a really very great idea. Great. What is it? Oh, I can't say. You know, because it's top secret. <gasps> top secret, huh? Sure, I understand. Well, let me know if you need any help. Yeah, I'll let you know. No. Ah, too easy. Too complex. Ow! I prefer a lighter reading myself. Poe, you have to help me. I need to come up with a great science fair project. A project that's so excellent that I'll definitely win the Golden Beaker Award. Mm hmm And what do you have so far? That's all I got. Hmm. Sounds to me like you could use some guidance. As a fledgling crow, I certainly had great success at the science fairs of my youth. Why, I recall receiving quite a bit of assistance from my perspicacious father. He once invented a navigation device to aid in southbound flights, constructed a nest that still hangs outside the Louvre, and discovered a cure for athlete's claw, all in one week. But I don't have any relatives that I know of. Well, you don't need to get technical. Fatherly advice doesn't have to come from a real father. Hey, you're right. That's it. Oh, why, yes. I'd be happy to offer my services. I'll just make a dad to help me with my science fair project. It's so simple. So obvious. <laughs> what can I say? I'm just a helpful chap, I suppose. Yes, well, let me know when we start, then. Looks like the operation is going well, Doctor. Yes. I wonder if I'm actually descended from a long line of scientists. I'll have to ask Dad about that, once he's built. Screwdriver. Chewing gum. All that's left now is the heart. I'll go and get it. And then we just need a jolt of electricity to jumpstart my new Papa Skull. Yes, Doctor. Thanks for helping out, Ruby. Hi, Misery. Ooh, rain. I'll just add this to my project. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
This should just about do it. Whoa. Oh boy. It's alive. It's alive! Dad? She will see the offspring. to have the best science fair project ever. Way to go, Skull Boy. Dad, you can let go now. We will win the science fair and take home the Golden Beaker Trophy. We've got to do whatever it takes to come in first. I need your help. Oh, no! <laughs> Must win best project at any cost. Any cost. Any cost. Any cost. Any uh, maybe I should dial that down a notch. Must win! Must win! Must win! Win, win, win! These are my friends, Frank and Len. Uh, checking out competition. Analyze. Royal Nippo! You are both correct. Uh, Frank, Len, this is my dad. See that with that? Say cheese. Cool. Nice to meet you. Assessing project. Ooh. Result? Ha uh, ha. Uh, not a threat. Not, 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 not a threat. Ha uh, ha. Uh, Dad's been working a lot of hours lately. Anyway, we gotta go. Come on, Dad. Whoop. Boom! <laughs> ah, interesting. Flowers, scary. Polka dots, scarier. Nothing to worry about here. <laughs> well. What an impolite... Oh, robot! It was a Ruby project. Uh, impressive. Ours inferior. Yeah. Dad. Oh, no time for communication. Yeah, Skullboy, there you are. Yeah, I have a few dandy ideas for our project. Sorry, Poe. I don't have time. Right then. Maybe later. So, what are we making? Do you need me to do anything? Josh. <laughs> Venus, what's gotten into you? <laughs> Here, Venus, come and get it, girl. <laughs> wow, what are you building, Skull Boy? I wish I knew. Uh, I mean... I wish I could tell you, but it's very complicated. Okay. Good luck with it. <laughs> Winners don't need luck, plant girl! Dad? <laughs> what were we making again? I'm not sure. I thought you knew. I am blank. Oh, no. Whoa. Looks like things are coming along nicely, Skullboy. Yeah, I wish. 
We just blanked out. When I was having trouble with my project, I took a stroll on Widow's Walk. You should try taking your mind off it by having some fun. A little break always helps. Uh, idea processed. Come on, son. If she can take a little break, we can take a big break. But... No buts. to win the golden beaker. That's great, Dad. Uh, okay, I'll meet you there. Dad, I was looking all over for you. <gasps> Dad, you're not going to blow up Ruby's project, are you? Affirmative, Sonny. It's the only way. But that's not right. That's what competition is all about. You want to win, don't you? Yeah, but... I'd love to communicate further, but I've got a breakfast maker annihilator to build. This is not good. Ruby, you know how I made a dad that was going to help me with my project? Yeah. He's going to destroy yours to do it. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to win. And now Dad's ruining everything. A closing target. You know, Skullboy, I hate to break it to you, but that's not really your dad. You built him out of a bunch of old rubbish. And that's great. Okay, maybe not great, but pretty good. Not many people can say they built a robot. I'm so sorry, Ruby. Well, I guess stuff happens. Win, 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 win. Uh oh. <laughs> Goodbye to bad rubbish, I say. Well, time for tea. Oh, sorry, guys. Obviously, winning isn't everything. But I still have to come up with something for the science fair. This steam engine is still good. So are these wheels. Mm, can you do anything with this arm? Uh, thanks. I'll see what I can do. 
I can't believe we're finally off to the science fair. This is the best mobile steam-powered vegetable steamer ever. Way to go, Skullboy. I'm so happy for you. Would you like some steamed rutabaga? Um, not that happy. But thanks. I really love my new steam-powered paint sprinkler. It's even better than my breakfast maker. Yeah, it looks great, Ruby. Needs a lot of drop sheets, though. Hi! Hey, Iris. Congrats again on winning the golden beaker. Eh, uh, it's no big deal, really. You should have won it. People just don't appreciate a nice steamed rutabaga anymore. Well, Venus is pretty impressive. How'd you get her to be so nice? Just born that way, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm already on my next idea. Oh, yeah? What are you working on? Mom. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> How to Avoid Bad Luck by Misery. Hi, I'm Misery. That's Doom Kitty. She's a black cat. Black cats are known for their unluckiness. <laughs> the best way to avoid black cats is by changing your perspective. It's all about how you look at things. 